Surely your life being sat down too much and having an erratic sleep schedule as a streamer pro gamer will put your mortality up by 2%. You know that it's not like, you know, like it's, it's not like if that's the case, then adding an extra 2% on top of it will suddenly like make, uh, like, like make me less like, it's not like, oh, well you already increased your chances by 2% because of your lifestyle. You should just add another 2% anyway, because you've already increased it by 2%. Fuck it, bro. Why don't I just start actually doing crack on stream? And then just have like an extra 10% on top. Why don't I just like, why don't I just jump out the window right now? Just make it hundred percent, bro. Cause I already upped it by 2% having an erratic sleep schedule. That makes sense. That's a fucking good take right there. I just make it hundred percent. Fuck it. Like why? Like I already upped it by 2%. Like who cares? COVID's going to kill me. Someone who eats fast food and soda every day and drinks energy drinks. I don't know where you got the idea that that's how I live, bro. I never eat fast food and I don't drink energy drinks. Like, I don't do either of those things, man. I think you have a weird perception of how I live. Like, I live pretty normal, man. I like, I like eat pretty normal food. Like, I mainly eat like, like chicken, rice, vegetables. Like, yeah. I eat like oatmeal for breakfast and banana. Like, I eat pretty healthy. All right, Talon, Caitlin, Nidalee, Corky, LeBlanc, and Leeson all banned. Viego first pick for TN. Okay, they're just going to play only Viego and win the tournament. Oh, no. All right, so Zin Affilios, Leona Ziggs, Thresh pick, dude. This Thresh pick has been very bad so far this round. I, I don't really like Thresh here. I mean, I guess it's just there for the Affilios, but like, it's just hard to play in this game. All right. What are we picking here for, for Gory? Victor is not up. What are we picking? Are we, we're just blinding a Kali? Dude, he does not look confident. Wait, that didn't look like a confident Akali. Like normally when you see people lock in an assassin, they're like smiling and like laughing and shit. Dude, I, I like just randomly bring up the vaccine just so all the anti-vaxxers in my, my chat just out themselves and then we can just ban them all. It's actually pretty insane. 
it's such a good technique you just bring up like hey bro like i think the vaccine's pretty good and the thing about anti-vaxxers is that they're they're like so stupid that they can't even like they just can't even control their own emotions and like be able to not talk about it given their atmosphere like all anti-vaxxers are so proud of being anti-vax like it's just like their entire identity and their personality so you just mentioned like hey bro like i got like i got the booster shot even bro i've actually taken three shots of the vaccine and they're like what like why did you take three shots bro like why do you take three shots like what you just trust everything that the government says like i didn't know that you were a fucking sheep like that bro like i thought you were better than that but I guess you can't be that smart if you're a streamer after all. Like they just start going into it and then I just and then I just ban them all. It's cooler than being proud of being a TSM fan to be us. No, it's it's significantly better to be a TSM fan than to be an anti-vaxer. Like being a TSM fan is just like having like bad taste, you know? It's like being somebody that's like, you know what, like bro, you know what I love to fucking eat, bro. I just love to eat like just like beef testicles. Like that is my shit. Like I eat it every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is just delicious. That is that is my my food preference. Like and it's like, oh, you probably shouldn't eat that, but like being an anti-vaxxer is like enjoying eating shit. It's like, I like just eating like dog shit. Like my dog takes a shit on my lawn and I just consume it instantly. That's what being an anti-vaxxer is. All right, let's get into this last game. It is too fucking late, bro. It's about to be 7 a.m. God damn. Why can't a man just sleep? Why does it have to go to game five? All right. Well, at least we got a skill match up top. I feel like these are the types of matchups that I wouldn't want to have Zoom in, though. Like, the way that Zoom plays generally is, like, to, like, stonewall lanes with, like, decent matchups or, like, abuse matchups that are slightly favorable. I feel like if you put them in a matchup where it's, like, pretty 50-50 and it's, like, carry versus carry, I feel like this is the worst situation for him to perform. I'm complaining about being up from from what 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. No, I mean I was just up since like like noon. Um, dude, welcome to the world of night shifts. Sometimes you gotta just cover them. I mean, I I literally like you know out of all the streamers that you could say this to, you're literally picking the streamer that streamed from like midnight to 8 a.m. for like four years, like 300 hours a month. I feel like I'm like the worst streamer to be like, bro, like complaining about night shifts it's like dude that's literally what i did for like the longest time <laughs> like what the fuck
All right. Well, I mean, I think that if this game goes late, then it's just going to be auto won by FPX. I mean, I would just assume that Jax will just 1v9 this later on. Jax is actually really fucking good in this game because, like, he's playing into TF as well. And TF can, like, I mean, TFCC is gold card, right? And gold card just gets countered by Jax. I mean, maybe the Akali will be useless in team fights. But I feel like Jax is really, really OP in this game. Oh, he mistimed it, bro. People always do this. Okay, so the way you have to play this, this uh, stun, you have to wait until the E connects with the wall, and then you stun them out of the E. Like, if you E while their hook is flying towards the wall, they'll always get pulled. You have to actually cancel it once they start getting dragged to the wall. So you have to just wait for the thing to connect and then E. People always mess this up. Zoom Pog. I mean, I think that Zoom is actually greeting pretty hard by Eing the way he did. I think that what he should do is he should flash E. Because if he gets canceled there, he just dies. Most likely. So... I actually don't like the fact that Zoom just relied on eating the wall and the enemy misplaying because I feel like it's just too risky. How does a pro player not know this? I mean, they probably know this. It's just like they they instinctually just want to like cast their son they're just like oh whatever like i'm just trying to stun the guy on the gank so they don't like just fully think about like they don't have the habit formed i'm sure that like after jala who fucks it up he knows he fucked it up but it's just like yeah just getting the habit for i'm like me me just saying the correct way to do it doesn't mean that like if i was playing jacks in the game i would just do it 100 percent right all the time anyway you know like, i'm just Telling the people watching what the person should do. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think that, that a lot of the time it also just comes down to like how proficient the person is on Jax. Like Jalau, who hasn't played any Jax's tournament in the games that I've watched. So, uh, I mean, he's probably just not super practiced on the champion. Kali items? Yeah, I think it's fine. Jalahu with the flash forward. Trade flash for flash. Just all right. Kali items? I think Kali items are, are okay in the matchup. Triple bead. Patreon has no smite. Ditches it. Oh shit, Tien, dude, Tien Viego, he's just a completely different player when he plays it. Okay, I mean, they lose this, right? Like, they're literally just playing without, uh, they're playing without a jungler here. Tough stuff right there. I mean, it's it's mainly just the fact that the jungler got pushed out. This play like can't be. Yeah, this play can't be turned. Because if both junglers are there, then then Gori and and uh, Zin can actually help out Jalahu. How Jax just loses? I mean, I think Jax is actually still fine. I think the bigger problem is, is jungle right now. Jungle is so far behind. Wow, and Beijuan's actually going for Herald here? I hate this, man. Like, you're level 5 to level 6. Like, I feel you should just prioritize getting level 6. I hate doing Herald like this. Level 5, you're just hitting the Herald. Enemy jungler's up 22 CS. You don't even have ult, so you can't even team fight. Like... I, I just, I don't know. Don't respect these types of plays at all. 
Also, Gory needs the base. Oh. All right. Joe flashes the hook. Okay. I mean, Jackie Love is just going to get full turret here. He needs to get it to like 12.50, I think. Got it to 12.50. Pretty fucking big lead from top. I feel like Beijuan like really griefed this game though. I mean, I guess they end up getting top turret, but yeah, definitely not the best. Down a lot of tempo. So I'm assuming that Ziggs will just go mid. TF will catch the bot wave eventually. We can just keep multiple people mid for now. Hey, FPX is just going to force Herald, I guess, or force Dragon, I guess. Zoom is no TP. He's just freezing top. I actually like this freeze. Like, you can just give this first Dragon. Like, who cares about this Dragon? This Dragon is super worthless. And the thing is, like, multiple members have to go unfreeze this. And the other thing that you have to consider is, like, the reason why this freeze is so good is because they have wave clear. Like, when you freeze, you have to consider, like... Do you have enough wave clear where they can just punish you on the map when when you're in like this 4v5 situation? And when you have a Ziggs with Leandres, no. Like the answer is just no. Like they won't be able to do any damage to this mid turret. So you're just getting like infinite advantages from this uh from this this freeze top. He didn't even keep the freeze as long as he could have. Like he could have just kept this for a while. I I don't agree with him unfreezing when he did. Over vision. I think he was just trying to cancel recall, keep the guy in lane. Not let him base and buy his mythic. Maybe he already had it, but I would assume it was just like he didn't want him to base. Doom had his item probably. I mean, it doesn't matter if you have your item or not. If you just have a freeze and you're not planning on doing anything anyway, right? Like, if they use the resources to actually break the freeze. Oh, wait, hold on. We got a TN uh, kill right here. Aldrich X is just dead. All right. So here's the thing that about taking the Aphilios as a jungler. No jungler has, like, any idea how to play Aphilios. Oh, Hong is really go. Oh, he actually predicted it. It's not going to do anything. I mean, he's actually just griefing, but like, it looked kind of nice. Yeah, Beijuan's dead. So, uh, it's looking a little bit over to me. It's looking pretty, pretty rough. Jagulov is going to get the, the plates before the, uh, expiration of them. This is a, a nice little 12 plate game. Yeah, it's a 12 play game. Can't complain. But yeah, I mean, I think that buying your item here, it doesn't actually matter for Zoom because he's just trying to freeze the wave, right? Like, so if you're freezing the wave for that amount of time, there's no dragon up, there's no herald up. 
There's nothing the enemy team can actually punish you on. Like, what does your item actually do? And like, if they respond properly, like you don't have an angle to necessarily make a play. I think it's better to just keep the, the freeze indefinitely there. Like for at least another couple minutes. It's such a consistent play. There's literally zero downside to it. Like you can't lose out if you play at all, like decently there. okay after the series they can just blame their jungler they can just blame Beichuan and they'll, they'll get clid and they'll revitalize themselves they didn't lose with their main roster anyway so they they won't take any uh negativity from this it's all good And took her personal. I mean, I like that Tien at least knows himself. He's like, dude, I tried to play other champions. Like, I am literally a Viego one trick. Just pick me Viego every game, or we are we are absolutely fucked, man. You better just pick me Viego. I'm like, all right, do whatever you say. That's how you get what you want done. Honesty, boys. who's dead before he takes the lantern okay free drake and they just use the herald to break mid actually they might not even use need to use the herald to break mid maybe jackie love can just go satchel it it looks pretty low and the thing about fbx's team comp is they really don't have wave clear either like it's just affiliates with flamethrower they can clear waves like sure if akali could walk up to the waves she can clear them but that's not really that consistent Yep, that's Satchel Bowl. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's insurmountable at this point. I don't think FPX is getting to late game at all. You saw the triple beads? Yeah, I mean, you, you pretty much only buy the beads for, like, early lane phase. Just make it so the TF can't push you out of lane. You can just do door and shield, too, but beads are just, like, it's just impossible to push somebody out of lane with it. And beads resell really well. It's one of the reasons why people like using them. Gorian Nongshim look like Prime Faker compared to what he is showing now. Yeah. I mean, that's normally what happens when you go from a tier two league to a tier one league. Well, Jala, who's dead? He's just dead for the sins of Beitron. LCK fanboys molding. Dude, I got to take as many shots as possible at LCK fanboys. 
Like, Worlds is just so fucking insane. Worlds was too insane. I just got to flame LCK fanboys for the next year. It just is what it is. Bro, this guy went from fucking MLS to, to Champions League. Like, what do you want from him? MLS bro you know what sucks about Austin is that there's no pro sports teams in Austin outside of like the MLS like Austin whatever it's like it's called like the Austin football club bro. Right? I don't know anything about MLS that's like the only professional sports team in my city and I'm like even thinking about going to a game just because I like going to pro sports games but like it's just not fucking worth it Well, looking pretty over. On the run, dude. Look at Gory. He's trying to find LCK. He's like, wait, is it over here? Where? Peanut, where are you? Peanut? Duck Dom? Maybe Duck Dom's in this bush. Oh, never mind. Duck Dom was not there. Couple people die here. Actually, it's just one death. Wait, Zoom took literally negative damage there. He was being healed by the enemy team somehow. What the hell? Thought he was gonna be potentially falling too. I mean, even though TS ended up winning this, I feel like TS didn't look as good as like you'd expect. Like they're balling. I actually got clapped for most of the series and they ended up having to default into like not playing bot lane they're like all right dude we're just gonna play zigs and not participate in the game and hopefully tn will get viego and can carry us i don't know bro i expected more i thought that this was going to be like a, a top esports 3-0 i think their top side is a lot better even if tn's ending i think just Top mid are a lot better. I thought that Jackie Love would be able to hold his own into LWX. Surprised you didn't do collabs with famous Austin streamers still? I mean, I, I just don't do that type of shit, bro. I'm not trying to like fucking hit up famous Austin streamers and yeah. Try to just like get some clout. I mean, also it's just like, I, I feel like I just don't like I don't really care like if I have more viewers because I leached off people or not. Like I don't think that would feel that good. I felt pretty good in season 10 to just like be doing my own thing and then just like experience success. Like, I feel like that feels a lot better than like just being like, oh, Miskiff, like, like just make fun of me on your stream for like 30 minutes and I'll just laugh at all your jokes and then I'll get more viewers. God bless.
Spider Man than me, I'd lead shamelessly. I mean, I, maybe I would lead shamelessly if I was like at a different point in my career. If I was fucking like in the fucking struggle and I just started streaming and like I didn't have an idea of how to get viewers and I didn't have viewers, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'd probably leech. I'm down. Can they just end the game here? Are they really going to defend this? It's triple inhibit. 24 minutes. Just let them end, bro. Please just let them end. What stage of the tournament? This is the grand finals. Top Esports has just won Demacia Cup. That's what stage of the tournament it is. Man, could they just, could they have just, just, just banned Viego and then won for FPX? Like, I feel like it literally would have been that easy. You just ban Viego and you have like 10 times higher chance to win. You ban Viego and you leave up Jarvan. And for some reason, TN would pick Jarvan because he just thinks he can play it. All it took was not letting Tien play Jarvan. Yep, pretty much. Reddit now. What is there on Reddit, man? There's nothing. Translate. So they pretty much so so I can just read lips. So what she's asking is she's like she's like, yeah, like how do you guys like like night like like tell me how you ended up winning this tournament like you were down zero two it looks pretty grim uh what did you do and then he's like yeah i i literally just made sure that my jungler didn't pick jarvin like he really just cannot play jarvin and every time he picks it it feels like we can't win They're like okay nice jackie love you're up next we saw you getting absolutely dumpstered by lwx like you were a world champion and one of the best ad carries for years and now you are just a, a Ziggs one trick. Like what happened to you, man? He's like, oh, well, you know, I already won worlds and I pretty much have accomplished everything I've wanted to in my career. So I'm just getting a fat fucking contract and playing Ziggs and wave clearing, living the fucking life. He's like, okay, I respect that. Nice. Like, looks like, looks like you're gonna, you know, have at least one more year of competitive play until they nerf zigs and then you'll be doomed he's like oh shit what am i gonna do then i don't know well I, I i mean i guess i'm already so rich it doesn't fucking matter keck w that's what he's saying okay nice next person all right thank you well that's fucking nice i mean it would it it must be great being that wealthy okay so tn you've been a pro player for four years now and you can play one champion. How is this even humanly possible? He's like, actually, I don't fucking know. Like, and they don't ban it either. It's fucking crazy. Like, yeah, it is crazy. So in that last game, we saw you really pop off on the Viego. Uh, do you feel like it's still considered being a one trick if you're playing Viego where you can play other champions? It's like, no, I actually don't think that it's being a one trick. Uh, I mean, if I'm playing Viego, I technically have to play every champion in the game when I take a soul. So like people that say uh, I'm a one trick are just probably fucking stupid. All right. Awesome. Next one. Okay, cool. <laughs> last, last person. 
last person okay zoom like you know this was this was kind of rough uh in the beginning of this tournament now you're here in game five as the champion like how do you feel it's like honestly i don't care about demacia cup like i'm just happy i'm not on fucking jdg anymore because that shit is gonna be a fucking train wreck like we're talking like 14th place or some shit in lpl like man like you think seeing your jungler be a one trick is bad i had to play with your gal for three years while he was only picking zoe leblanc and tf like i'll just do anything instead of being there like yeah you will holy shit yeah you you really will just do anything instead of being there well that's all from us and demacia cup here are our winners uh we got the viego one trick the guy that's happy not to be on jdg the AD carry that has somehow lost all of his skill and has become a Ziggs player only. And Knight and Dro. Okay, nice. Congratulations. Here's this check and some money. It's literally less than any of you make in like a fucking day or like a week. But, you know, here it is. Hold this check and you are out. Okay, perfect. Nice. There's the translation. <laughs> There's the translation. I'm fucking done. I'm done. All right. Well, that's it for me, man. It's 7 a.m. I am going to go to sleep. And yeah, I'll probably start streaming again in like a few days. Uh, probably going to just fix my sleep schedule and then I'm out. And then uh, and then we're here. So uh, I'll be obviously co-streaming LPL. I'll be doing as much LPL as possible. That starts on the 9th. Uh, I got some talk shows that I'll be doing as well. Um, for next year, I'll announce all the ones that I am doing uh, pretty soon. And yeah, I will, you guys will just see me when you see me. So follow the stream and I will, yeah, and you can just be notified whenever I go live. All right, I'm out. Peace. Later.